Let's go surfing now, everybody's learning how. Come on a safari with me. We're going to talk now to April accordingly. April is representing the Met Caloundra Surf Club, and April is here not to, not only to tell us about her history with the club, but her extensive family history with the club. It's quite a story. Morning, April. Good morning, Rob. Where do we start? Oh, well, <laughs> my dad and my uncle joined Met Caloundra as foundation nippers in 1968. Um, so my granddad decided to enroll them because... Um, I spoke to him yesterday. He said he was embarrassed about coming last in his cub, cub swim races in Toowoomba. <laughs> so he wanted them to be better swimmers than he was and to be surf aware because they lived on the coast. G- g- give us more of those family contributions. Your uncle, um, your father, was your, your auntie as well? Yes, my auntie was um, represented the club as summer surf girl in 1993-94, um, which I'm also doing this year. Um, Stuart got his bronze medallion in 1976. That, um, my that's your dad, uncle? Stuart's your yes, uncle? that's yep. my uncle Stuart. So dad sort of stayed with the club until he was a teenager and then went off and did his trade. Um, but Stuart has had 44 years continuous service and membership and was also awarded life membership in 1996. Um, he's held most positions on the board of the club, including deputy president, secretary, club captain, treasurer, patrol captain, and now is currently the duty supervisor of the supporters club. What did so, you? What, when you were a young, younger girl, um, did you? You know, was there pressure on you to join because there was so much family contribution? Um, no, not at all. I think um, my parents, dad was obviously a nipper, and so my parents just asked us if we wanted to join. And I think because we were always at the beach and watching our uncle and dad in the surf, it was something that we wanted to do anyway. You know, I was keen to join when I was too young. <laughs> so dad enrolled us there in 19... 19- I was the first, I'm the eldest, so 1990 at age seven. Um, and my brothers and I were nippers at the club. Stuart's kids are a little bit younger than us, so they are nippers at the club. And, that, and, that, and the nippers really is the best way to begin your career in the movie. Oh, absolutely, isn't it? absolutely, and it's why. Tell me so why. Tell fun. me why, April. Tell me why. Um, well, because it's so it's such a fun thing to do, and you you're hanging out with other kids, and you're learning about surf awareness. And um, when you start as a green cap, you're sort of doing wades and just learning the basics about surf awareness, and then as you move through the ranks, you gain awards and. Um, at 13 years of age, you get to do your surf rescue certificate. So at 13, um, you can become an active patrol member. So, and, and I guess there's a bit of self-esteem that comes with all that, isn't there? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. The skills that you, the skills that you get from life saving and from doing nippers stay with you for life. I mean, you learn when you go through and do your bronze. You learn CPR and you learn first aid skills. Um, you learn how to read the beach. You learn how to integrate with people and so not only people with your club but the community because obviously we have people coming up and talking to us at the beach all the time that we need to give details to. And so I think that those things are really important in your career as well. April Cordingley is with you this morning. April is uh, a member of the Cordingley family. They are the backbone of the Met Caloundra Surf Life Saving Club. I don't think that's too much of a an outrageous statement, is it, April? Well, there's several families that are backbones of the club. I think you'll find there's a few families that kind of have a dynasty going there. So, What's so um, good about your club? Well, we are a smaller club, so it's very close-knit. Um, and we're at a very safe beach at Kings Beach. Some of the beaches um, can be a, have a bit more rough conditions. Of course, we still do. But, you know, it's just... Caloundra is such a good community to be a part of, and that club is part of the backbone of the foundations of Caloundra. Now, what's all this summer girl stuff? Tell me about what's going on there. Oh, okay. (laughs) Um, So every year there's a program. It's called the Jupiter Summer Surf Girl Program. And so the club nominates a surf girl to represent them, um, and we do fundraising from July through to April, and then there's a ball in May um, where we spend a week demonstrating our surf life-saving skills. We have been going out to schools around Queensland and giving surf awareness education talks. So we really get involved with the community and promoting surf life-saving and fundraising for our clubs so that we can give a back, bit back to our clubs and promote surf life-saving in the wider community. It's not all glitz and glamour, though. You're, you're an IRB champ as well, aren't you? Um, yeah, I am an IRB racer. Um, so... 
a lot of people think I'm crazy, but it's a lot of fun. Um, and especially I'm a crewy, so we sit up the front of the boat. So I, I do get a bit beaten up. Um, and I was lucky enough to get a medal at States this year. So that was really awesome. Good on you. And you, you and your family are going to be there on Sunday? Uh, yes, we will. So our open day is this Sunday, 26th of August, as with all the clubs. So between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. we'll be there. Um, we're going to have some games. We're going to have all of our equipment there so everyone can have a look and um, so people can find more about joining our club and about junior activities and how to become a patrolling lifesaver and also participation in our surf sports program. We've got um, Rebecca Creedy, who's the current Australian Ironwoman champion as part of our club. So she'll be there as well. Fantastic, Abel. Good to meet you.